Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today is time again for DAX Fridays and we are going to talk about related and related table again for two reasons. Reason number one, I did not really accurately explain the difference between related and related table and I need to do that. Uh, number two, one of you uh, asked me a question about a scenario that I actually mentioned on the video, but I never really explained how to do it. So I thought I would cover both of them and do a more in-depth uh, review of these two functions. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we are back in Power BI and uh, I will not explain related and related table again, but I will go through the cases that I said on the beginning. And for that, let's do a quick recap on what we have. We have a product table that contains the component, the cost of the component and the supplier. And then we have a stock table that contains the component and the quantity, and we want to calculate the stock value. As you can see here, we're using related table to calculate the stock value. And we had another calculation of stock value that stopped working because it was using related in a one-to-many relationships. And I told you in the previous video that related work on one-to-one -one relationships and related table on one-to-many, but that's not really accurate. The real explanation is like this. Related works on the one side of the one-to-many relationship also, okay? So if you have one-to-one, -one, you can do a related in here and in there, no problem. But if you have a one-to-many like you have here, so unique here and many in there, then you can only have the related function in here, not in there, otherwise it won't work. And that's what you see here when we tried to create a formula for the stock value and we were using related from the many table so from the product one one you can't do that what we can do is reverse that and it will work and i will show you in a second related table it works on the many side of the relationship so it works on here okay I, perhaps that's why they call it related table i mean it's it just is so obvious so sorry for i didn't explain this correctly related you use it on the one side of the one to many or on one one and related table on the many side of the relationship. So here is a question I've got from Gopa. He was asking me uh, what would happen if the item with two costs have a stock balance. So let's go back in Power BI. So on the previous video, I had an item that has two suppliers and therefore they had two different costs. But on the stock table, I did not add that item in there. Okay, so he wanted to know what happens if you add it. Will Power BI calculate the stock value correctly? So I have added it and I have also added the supplier. And if we use the same formula that we had created, that is this one, stock times the sum x of the related table, as you can see, it calculates the cost of the components incorrectly. And there is a very uh, easy reason to explain why. As you can see, what we're telling here Power BI to do is get the product list and do a sum. So let's go back here. We're telling Power BI, get this table and do a sum. So this item, the 022, will get summed up. So it will be 35. And then it will get, let's take it up, and then it will multiply it by quantity. So as you can see, it's aggregating the data multiplying it by 10 and then 350. So then you might say, okay, but if I drop in supplier, it might do it correctly. Well, it still won't because it is aggregating it first. So this is not the correct way to do that calculation. 
And this is what we need to do to make it right. So what we need to do is to have this type of um, formula, this type of measure, but correctly written. So because it is now a one to many uh, one to many relationships, it was not in the beginning when we created that uh, measure. What we need to do is to turn this around because related works only on the one side of the many. So let's do that. M stock value two, and then and here we have to get the many side first. So we're going to get product and then we get product, what is it? Cost, cost component. And we want to multiply that by related stock quantity. So we're seeing exactly the same thing, but we're just following the rules that apply for related. And we get a stock value and now we put it in there. And as you can see, it's now giving us the correct value. So one times 10 is 10, 34 times 10 is 340. So we can delete the incorrect one. So great, uh, thank you for your question, Gopa. It was uh, fantastic that you asked me so that we can clarify these questions. Uh, if you like this video, let me know by liking it or sharing it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great Friday. Bye.